So hey, we just woke up this morning in Amarillo, Texas, and we took a little drive, like an hour west to the uh, Texas-New Mexico border, and we are right now in a ghost town. That's right, we're in a ghost town. That wasn't a ghost, that was a car. We actually just shot a uh, little performance video here, which you guys can check out right now on our channel. I will provide a link above. But anyway, today what we're doing is um, we're driving to Albuquerque to hang out with my brother, which is where he lives. We're probably gonna get some really good New Mexican food. And I don't know, maybe we'll find something cool along the way and stop and check it out. That's it. Anything you want to add? Um, it's hot and we did not see any rattlesnakes. My whole life is like an acid trip with all the feelings and the colors in my mind. Hey guys, so we found a cool place to stop. We are in Santa Rosa, New Mexico. And behind me is this thing called the Blue Hole. And it's like 100 feet deep. A literal hole filled with water in the middle of the desert. Kind of an oasis. So I'm gonna go jump in. Amazing uh, change of landscape, pretty sick, right? Up, guys, so we uh, had a wonderful time hanging out in Albuquerque. We had some delicious food, ate some insane chilies, uh, and had a wonderful time hanging out with my brother and my sister-in-law and our nephew. And now we've been driving this morning, and we're on our way to the Grand Canyon. Eight years ago. Eight years later. What do you think? Amazing. No, I bet the Grand Canyon, not me. <laughs> You're so funny. It's hurting me to feel this way. My heart wants to go. Hey, what's up? We're at the Grand Canyon camping area. And, and I'm in there too. And you're in there too. Yeah. And we just shot uh, a little video. Performance video. For the ghost tour, or whatever yeah. we're calling it. The acid trip. Acid trip. <laughs> and we stayed the night at the uh, Grand Canyon campground. And now we are headed out. It's early in the morning. But the Grand Canyon was beautiful. The Grand Canyon was quite grand, I would Amazing. say. And now we're going to head to our next campsite, which is um, kind of like just south of the Hoover Dam. Should be pretty sweet. Excited. Yeah. All right. We made some spaghetti last night. Also. Oh, Jackie so. made some. Some, some RV spaghetti. Real good RV spaghetti. And we had a real camping experience. Yeah, we did. It was a great time. It was fun. Yep. What are your final thoughts, Jack? Um, just loving this. It's really fun. Excited for the next place. So over the past couple of days, we've basically gone from like Amarillo, Texas. We hung out in Albuquerque and then we went to the Grand Canyon, which was pretty sick. We saw that place. Uh, we stopped at this place this morning. Um, what was it called? The Wildlife Refuge. I think this Wildlife Refuge called? I don't remember. Barizona. But it was actually a really cool place. We saw some wild life. <laughs> Oh, I got one over here. It's walking. It's walking over. Yeah, look, look, there's one walking. And now we're here at Willow Beach. Uh, and it's part of the um, Lake Mead National Park area. It's and 117 it's, and it is 17 degrees. 117 degrees out right now. We're standing in the shade because it's so hot, but the view here is beautiful. It's really pretty. And we um, just saw some mountain goats right in front of the RV. It's true. Yeah. They're, yeah. Like, they're like 20, 30 feet away, something like that. Yeah. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna 
ride out the heat of the day. We're gonna grill and have some good dinner. And I'm gonna finish reading Harry Potter to the kids. Yeah, and tomorrow, and, Sean. and to, mostly to me, really. <laughs> and tomorrow we're gonna wake up and we're gonna head to... Where? California, ah. baby! But that is gonna be for another video. Drop a subscribe if you wanna see that. Yeah, thanks for coming along with us on our tour of the United States and check out our performance videos that we're making. Woo! Bye. My whole life is like an acid trip with all the feelings and the colors in my